howdy howdy all you cool cats and kittens welcome back to stardew valley tools aren't real edition i'm jared this is berkeley i'm over berkeley here in in the brown shirt and um i thought you were gonna say in the brown hat and i was like my man that's not helpful <laughs> <laughs> no it's not it's it really isn't but uh but i luckily i didn't say that so we're, we're good it's all good i almost started the stream by immediately going back to bed <laughs> you can't get you out of bed when you, you get like... in, can you? Um. Oh, I guess you can in multiplayer. Oh, can you? Okay. In single player, it's just now it's the next day. But yeah, multiplayer, I guess that would have been fine. Hey, we got some oak resin. First thing, and we need it to oh, donate. Awesome. This is amazing. Cool. Great day. So, uh, before I forget. We learned something about seed and seed conversions that's going to be really helpful. Yes. So let's, yeah, let's just uh, bury the lead on this. I forgot what bury the lead is. I should not have said that out loud. <laughs> I don't um, know what that means either. So let's that makes just two of us. Start, start with the biggest <laughs> news that we advertised instead of making people wait. Um, <laughs> So, Snow Yams, if you've been following the stream, you know that Snow Yams is going to be one of the hardest items for us to get. So, Snow Yams is a forageable, and most of the forageables are incredibly easy to get without tools. But Snow Yams, in particular, you need to hoe them out of the ground in order to pick them up naturally. So, we, we can't use hoes. Um, if you use a bomb, it does not work. The, the Snow Yam does not appear. So we have a couple options. One is to buy a snow yam directly from the traveling cart, um, which is going to be easy to do without tools as long as there actually is one in the traveling cart. But we can't guarantee that. So um, we don't really want to rely on that. The other option is to plant winter seeds and try to grow a snow yam from those. So winter seeds have a random chance of growing a snow yam or the other three winter forageable items. Um, and there's a few different ways to get winter seeds, some of which we've already discussed, and some of which are new information to me and to Jared. So we wanted to go over that. So the first way is to just buy the winter seeds from the traveling cart, uh, which has the same problem as buying a snow yam from the traveling cart. Second way is to, well, you could craft them out of one item of each type of winter foraging item um, but obviously we can't do that to get the snow yam because we need a snow yam in order to do that so chicken and the egg problem there another option is to take a winter root and put it in a seed maker and we don't actually have a seed maker yet but we will have one quite soon i think so we um, in order to get a seed maker, we need to finish the dye bundle of the um, of the community center. And we only have one item left for that, which is a red cabbage, which we should be able to grow in summer. So this summer, we should get a seed maker. We can put winter roots in there and get winter seeds. Excellent. Ooh, this is a lot of talking. <laughs> um, but we've got one more option that um, someone on Reddit let me know about that is even better or even even more likely for it to happen for us. And that is that at the Desert Trader, you can trade... Let me look this up to make sure I'm not lying. Um, you can trade two spring seeds for one winter seed. And we've got lots of ways of getting spring seeds. We can craft them from forageables. We can use a seed maker. Um, you can also trade summer seeds for spring seeds. So if we happen, well, we will get the seed maker in summer. And so if we're able to get a lot of summer seeds, we can trade those for spring seeds and then trade the spring seeds for winter seeds. Um, so this is like a sure way that we can get winter seeds in the nearish future, future, like by, by summer. Um, so yeah, that that's the exciting news about snow yams is we've got a way forward that doesn't rely on the traveling cart. And I'm so relieved. Traveling Cart Lady is um, maybe not the most reliable vendor. You know the worst thing about the, the uh, Traveling Cart? Tell me. 
it's that we always forget to go to her. <laughs> yeah, she doesn't she doesn't mark it out in the town square where she would get a lot more foot traffic and probably make more money. Yeah, come on. Location, 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 traveling cart. <laughs> What's the point in traveling if you're just going to tra travel there? Someone fell for the build it and they will come mentality. <laughs> she probably has a crush on the wizard and goes there to look at his tower. Oh, I thought you were going to say look something else, but it. yeah, definitely, oh. definitely looks at his tower for sure. Okay, so I think I have all the stuff I need to craft some spring seeds. I accept. Oh, wow. That I, was fast. Yeah, that was my mission. I was just here talking about it, and you went and did it. I need some Incredible. daffodil. I, I have one, but I could use uh, one more. You are not going to believe this. I have exactly one daffodil. That is how much spring foraging that I found while you were finding all the good stuff. <laughs> um, I'm up by the bus stop. Okay. I will meet you at Pierre's, except I'm already there. I'll meet you at the bus stop. <laughs> <laughs> What if I head towards you and then we both switch which part of the map we're in at the exact same time? Did that happen? Uh, it might have happened. I was joking. <laughs> <laughs> you remember, have okay. you watched Over the Garden Wall, Berkeley? I have. Do you remember the scene where he's uh, at Auntie Whisper's shack cleaning the floor with Lorraine? And mm -hmm. they start singing the song. Here we are, the two of us, like ships upon the sea. Uh -huh. Every time I pass that, somebody that by, was... I think of ships passing in the night, and then I think of that song. And even though the song isn't really related to the phrase, I um, I sing the song, and then I get weird looks. So that's hilarious. I thought you were going to quote from a different episode where Greg or where Wart says, "Let's go this way," and Greg says, "Okay, let's go this way." Um, to describe what I just did to you. <laughs> that That's a better and more relatable use. Also, I was wrong. I need a horseradish. I had a, um, a spring onion, and I mistook Ooh, that for what nice. I needed. Yeah, those are great, but are not one of the four that you need. That is correct. So horseradish. I've got to catch them all. Okay, I will stop killing bugs in the mines and uh come help you look for one i can hit look up by the train station okay i'm currently out behind joja mart digging through piles of styrofoam waste cool hey we've got quite a few people here thanks for joining us everyone if this is your first time we're stardew valley tools aren't real edition and we are beating stardew valley without using tools And right now I'm I'm digging through the trash to try to find a horseradish because I need it. Important. Oh, um, there was one other way to get a snow yam that I forgot about. Um, this was also something that someone on Reddit told me about. So thank you, Reddit. Everyone should spend more time there. Just kidding. <laughs> no. um, the... Uh, so trash cans in winter can have snow yams. Oh. Um, this is not information that you'll find on the snow yam page of the Stardew Valley Wiki, which some might call an oversight, but it is on the trash can page of the Stardew Valley Wiki. Are you going to contribute to the to the wiki now that you know? Oh, that would be the moral thing to do, huh? No, not necessarily. It depends on which model of ethics you're following. Um, hmm. Which one lets me be lazy and not feel bad? No, just kidding. <laughs> yeah, I, sh I should figure out how to do that. <laughs> Honestly, the Stardew Valley community has given me so much, it, it would feel good to pay it forward a little bit. So, Berkeley, this, this, this just occurred to me, and I would like to apologize in advance to our watchers because I, uh, I'm well known in my friend group for having horrifying ideas. And here's the latest one. Uh, do you think snow yams would have like the taste of mint ice cream, but the texture of a yam? Or do you think that just tastes like a regular yam? Um, I love the mint mint idea. 
I'm going with that. Oh, it's, that's not a horrifying thought. <laughs> oh, it is, oh. but like an entertaining one. Okay. <laughs> it's just like a, it's like a sausage, but instead of being filled with meat, it's filled with toothpaste. How's that for horrifying? That's way worse, in my opinion. I just can't imagine the thought of biting into a hot dog that's filled with toothpaste. That doesn't it doesn't sound good. In yeah. fact, it sounds very bad. Um, Androxima in the chat asked which year this is. We are in year two. So year one, we mostly spent fishing and foraging. And then at the very end of year one, we were able to make sprinklers. Um, and so we planted a few crops in fall. Now it's year two, and we're doing some more crops. So we're mostly focused on the pantry right now of the community center. Just on the off chance that you're a time traveler, and that's not what you were asking, the current year is 2022. And if you are trying to relive back to the future, you need to readjust your, um, your time traveling device because this ain't it, chief. Good point. I saw a webcomic this week that gave an advice on what to do if you uh you wake up and there's a cowboy in your room <laughs> were you the one that sent me to yeah. that <laughs> uh, and the, like the first piece of advice was to ask um hey is this cowboy times <laughs> incredible Yes, oh, we're boy. all about accommodating time travelers here and Droxima says 2022 is very helpful so um Time traveler confirmed. Dope. Thank tell, you for joining us. Tell the future about us. Or the past, I guess. Maybe you're from the past. Who knows? Yeah. Wait, aren't we all? There's that Mitch Hedberg joke where someone hands him a photograph and says, this is a picture of me when I was younger. And Mitch says, uh, every picture of you is a picture of when you were younger. <laughs> Man, Mitch Hedberg had had a, a just a way of thinking about the world that I enjoyed. Love him. Uh, oh, Berkeley! Tomorrow is the Egg Festival uh, from ooh. nine to two, and there's an egg hunt. Oh, I think we've done this together last year, and you were really good, and I was extremely not good at this. The way I remember it is that you hunted for eggs, and I stopped Abigail from being able to move. <laughs> maybe that's true i i'm not i i don't know i don't i don't know what's true anymore berkeley um yeah but uh i th there's a fun hat you can get at the the festival i i don't um it's not as cool as the hats we already have though so i don't know if, i don't know if the egg hunt is uh worth our time we can go. We we missed the last couple festivals. That's true. I'm still a little Sometimes sad about purpose. the ice one. Yeah, that would have been fun. We should do that next year. So did did you already grab the mushrooms, Berkeley? Um, I am grabbing them now. Okay. Um, did you say that as a lead-in for my story about I, mushrooms? I did. Look at me. <laughs> Man, every time we prepare to stream, um. Jared and I talk about what we're going to talk about on the stream and I make a little list and Jared actually remembers everything. <laughs> so, uh, thank you for remembering. Yeah, of course. Um, yeah. So today I had an experience with, um, some mushrooms in my yard. Let me preface this, not the mushrooms that you're thinking of. Um, <laughs> there's some mushrooms growing in my yard and I just noticed them over the week. They were popping up a few at a time and they were just like normal white colored mushrooms um but then today i went out to pick them to get rid of them and a bunch of them had there was like all this black around the edges and some of them were kind of flaky like they had been burnt um and there was like a lot of this black stuff like caked on the grass around them and so i thought that some of the mushrooms had like somehow caught in fire or something wow um but I, I picked them. Some of them are like really, um, like like paper thin, on the blackest parts of them. So I, I cannot emphasize enough how much it looked like they were burnt. Um, so I, I took care of them, and then I went and Googled it 
And apparently, this is a really common type of mushroom called a shaggy mane. And they're edible and totally safe as long as they're fresh, but they have this quality of like rotting really fast and just turning into this black goop, like this black <laughs> liquid that's full of spores. And that's how they reproduce, is by like digesting themselves and oh, wow. then like letting themselves seep all over the place. So. I... I'm so glad that's not what human beings do. Right? <laughs> be awful. <laughs> um, yeah, so I just, I was just so fascinated that mushrooms are so weird. And uh, yeah, not a lot to that story, but something that happened to me today and something you all should look out for. I... Mushrooms can reproduce by dissolving into black spore soup. I love mushrooms. They're so fascinating. And there's a lot of, of very, very interesting, weird ones. There's ones that that sprout with enough force to explode pavement. And like, what? yeah, they like Are blow up the asphalt. Yeah, it's 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 nuts. There are ones that glow, but but scientists don't know how to cause them to glow. It's just been observed that they do. And huh. um, ah, there's just so many cool mushrooms. I couldn't even list them all, but there's a really great book about them that i don't remember the name of give me a second berkeley cover for me <laughs> uh, do, 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 circus music <laughs> um i in our daily lives we uh, most of us at least interact with plants and animals a lot and hardly ever interact with fungi and so i think at least for me, I just got caught off guard by how different they are from everything else. Yeah, and like to their core different too. It's not just like observable differences, but they're really, mm -hmm. it's wild. So the book, if you want to hear more about this and other interesting mushroom facts, is called Entangled Life by a guy named Merlin Sheldrake, which is the most wizard name. I love it. And it's on cool. Audible. Thanks for that Oh, hey, uh, cart lady. She's here. And her. Oh, my goodness. Is her pig wearing glasses and a fez? It's to show how intelligent it is. <laughs> is it secretly Matt Smith? It's a Doctor Who joke for those of you who were fans of Doctor Who back in the day. I guess oh, it's that still wasn't a thing. from, um, from, uh, House of the Dragon? No, I haven't seen House of the Dragon, but I have to say that Matt, Matt Smith's characters lately are very unsettling. And mm. it's so interesting to see that contrast between, uh, like, probably the most emotionally touchy-feely Doctor in Doctor Who to, mm. like, really unnerving <laughs> characters. Yeah, I watched a couple episodes of The Crown, and I think that's the only other thing I've seen him in, other than Doctor Who. And yeah, very, very different. Berkeley, I have a question for you. I've, yes, sir. I'm sure I've asked this before. I have the opportunity to buy a rare seed from the cart Ooh. lady. Do we want? Um, That's a good question. I think that... You know what? Sure. Let's let's start buying them whenever we see them at the cart, and then when we have a greenhouse, maybe that's when we can start actually planting them. Okay. Um, I think it's like too high of a risk for us right now without tools. Um, like anything we plant could accidentally get blown up or struck by lightning or have weeds grow over it. Um, so I I wouldn't want to like invest that much into yeah. something that we're going to plant outside but once we have the greenhouse which should not be too far away i think um we can plant it and we have we have plenty of money we have more than we need so i think it's fine to be a little bit frivolous not to brag but we're rich not to brag <laughs> if anyone's just worried about the strategic soundness of this podcast not podcast stream i know what we're doing <laughs> um we, we've got a plan um yeah do you mind if i take a minute and just like summarize where we're at with the community center and what next steps are go for it 
Okay, so the first thing we finished was the vault. I think this is... Doing a no tools run is maybe the only time you would finish the vault first before anything else. But we were able to do that. Um, we also finished the fish tank uh, pretty early on. And we have finished one more room, um, the boiler room. That was a surprise to me. I thought that one was going to be really hard. But um, turns out a lot of the mining stuff we were able to do quickly. So those three rooms are done. The stuff we have left, so like I mentioned, we're mostly focused on the pantry right now. We have a little bit more to do for the quality crops bundle. The artisan bundle, we just need two more fruits. Um, and we have those trees planted already, so we should be good to go in summer. And then the summer crops bundle, we haven't started yet, but that'll be really easy in summertime. So we are good on the pantry. Crafts room, we've got the snowy M, which we already talked about, and then we need 10 hardwood. Hardwood is really difficult to get without tools. Um, I think we've gotten three so far, and it was all from barrels that we broke up in the in the mines. And you can just hit it with your sword, and occasionally those barrels and boxes will drop hardwood. So that's what we're doing there. And then the bulletin board, we've got quite a ways to go. Um, yeah, the bulletin board has, is like the most miscellaneous of all the community center rooms. So it's just like lots of little random items that we need. Um, yeah, that's where we're at. And if you were paying close attention during that, uh, none of those things need a lot of money. So we uh, we can spend it on things like rare seeds, I guess. Which is what we're doing. <laughs> we're betting it all. Uh -huh. Do we have a recycling machine yet? We do. It is. I put it in a bad spot. It's this one. Um, yeah. Oh, I've been not milking our cows the last couple of days. Dang it. <laughs> Poor I cows. have an auto grabber in my game that I'm playing in my free time. And so I am now forgetting to milk the cows. Maybe I should stop playing when we're not streaming. <laughs> <laughs> That's no fun. Or keep our, my world perfectly in sync so I don't forget how to do things. Is it an auto grabber? So it's not a mod. It's something you can actually build in game. Um, you, you buy it from Marnie. It's expensive. Oh. It's like 25,000 gold, but it um, it'll collect all the eggs and other things that drop in the coop and it'll milk all your animals and shear sheep if you have them we can afford that so, <laughs> um yeah we could i i don't know if it makes sense especially since um that might lower the amount of xp we get and we need farming xp still that's a great point we gotta um, get that I'm, seed maker um, yeah, we'll get one seed maker for free from the community center, so we don't need to craft that um, unless we want more of them. The main thing now that we need farming XP for is to be able to craft the keg to be able to make um, to make wine for the enchanter bundle. So. I am in the unique position of not knowing how to play Stardew Valley, <laughs> <laughs> uh, but also streaming it. You guys are watching my character <laughs> haplessly wander in search of horseradish. Um, would it be a good idea for me to try to get some bombs crafted and just hit the mines for hardwood aggressively? Um, yeah, I think that's probably a good thing to spend time on. Um, yeah, there's nothing else we can do for the pantry right now or the crafts room other than what you just said. Let me just quickly go through. Um, I'm not seeing anything else in the bulletin board to do. So yeah, I think, I think hardwood is a good priority to have. Um, we could also try to clear out some land and plant some mahogany trees. I don't know if we did that already. I did that. Um, 
so there's oh no we have one <laughs> the other one got Did blown you... up when i planted when i cleared okay. ground for the second one so we do have where one. did you plant it um oh no if i destroyed it i'm gonna i, I want to say bad. it's like this one i'm not okay. sure okay i broke a bunch of saplings down by the like empty house yeah no not that far down okay oh that scared me uh, maybe we should put torches around it to signify Berkeley, don't swing your sword here. <laughs> That's probably a good idea. Or, uh, well, or I'll just not swing my sword there. We'll see if I remember. Berkeley, I have a refined quartz now. Cool. Let's uh, stick it in a chest. We'll probably want to craft with that later, but I don't know. Um, we 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 need that to make a regular sprinkler. Right okay. now we're using small sprinklers. I think that's the name of them. Do regular ones water the whole nine square circumference? Um, uh, eight technically without the one that it's in, but yes. Yeah. <laughs> you right. Of cross <laughs> um. Oh, I misspoke. The ones we're already using are called sprinklers, and then quality sprinkler is the one that requires refined quartz. Okay. Would it be a good idea to put that in the crystallarium? I don't know if you can. I think only regular quartz can go in the crystallarium. Okay. Okay, I will go run the loop for horseradishes, and then I'll see about going down in the mines and breaking up some, some barrels. Well, do we know roughly what level they'll be on? Um, I think they're on all levels. Let me just check the wiki real fast. I don't even know if there will be an entry for barrels. Okay. Yeah, that um, is kind of an, a niche need. Yeah. Oh, there's a festival. I can't go buy bomb stuff. Ooh, but I did find a horseradish. So Ooh, that made nice. up for it. Oh, cool. Um, I didn't realize that there's different probabilities of what will come out of the crates and barrels, depending on what level you're on. Um, so hardwood has the highest chance on levels 0 through 79. Okay. Um, so I, I guess crates and barrels show up on all levels, um, but those are the ones where you're most likely to, to get hardwood. Um the percentage chance is 2%. So on average, we'll have to break 50 barrels or crates to get one hardwood. So let's, um, I guess, just have low expectations. <laughs> let's not hope. It always makes me sad when I kill a Dougie and it doesn't drop a palm. I know, it happens just often enough that I always expect it. What is your purpose if you don't drop bombs, Dougie? Ooh, Megan in the chat says that level 81 is good to spam because it's small and has lots of fiber and usually a barrel or chest or two. Okay. Um, so that will lower the chance of getting hardwood given that you break a barrel but having a higher chance of barrels at all I think is worth it doing the statistics in my head Megan in the chat how how did you learn so much is it possible to learn these powers not for my Jedi <laughs> that's pretty good that was that was solid I'm impressed um did, did we want to go to the egg festival? I can't remember. Oh, shoot. Yeah. Um, yeah, let's do it. Okay. Maybe they'll have some hardwood eggs. That That's probably not likely. I got some notes. Let me read those real quick. How do I read them? Uh, I don't Just know. Just hold what to them do. and click.
click. Oh, hold them above your head. Great. Mermaid show. One, five, four, two, three. Very neat, whatever that means. And M. Jasper's book about Junimos. Ooh. All right. What does it say about Junimos? It says that they take over after buildings are abandoned and it's like nature reclaiming her own. They have a resonant nice. affinity with gemstones. And, uh... And that that was all speculation, so take that with a grain of salt, I guess. <laughs> that was not. So if from... the Junimos, <laughs> go, go ahead. If the Junimos moving into the community center was nature reclaiming her own, how do we feel about reclaiming it back? <laughs> oh man, uh, yeah. Does that make us like Iron Town from Princess Mononoke? Maybe. Are we the villains here? Um, Megan in the chat says, Unfortunately, I just play way too much and watch YouTube of people playing way too much. I have almost 300 hours in my playtime. Okay. In playtime. Guilty confession time, and hopefully this makes you feel better. I've played more than 4,000 hours of my most played game, and I've only Oh, I thought had... you were going to say of Stardew Valley, and I was like... <laughs> <laughs> and I've Friends. learned nothing. <laughs> I'm sorry, I cut you off. Four thousand uh, hours? Yeah, it's uh, it's gross. It's really it's what pretty game? gross. Arma, Arma three. Arma, cool. I I play it a lot with my family. It's not just me by myself. Um, but to be honest, it might be if I wasn't married and had other responsibilities. <laughs> I was living that neat lifestyle. Okay, Mayor Lewis, did you find your shorts yet? The person who has them is standing right next to you. Okay, uh, are you ready for the egg hunt, Berkeley? Almost. I'm just saying hi to everyone to start getting those friendship points since oh, we've kind yeah. of been neglecting that. A hundred percent. Um. Yeah. Before I before we start, I need oh. to know who I'm. So last time you ran interference, it's my turn now. Who am I blocking? <laughs> um. So here's the thing about that. Um. Abigail wins it as long as you don't win, though she's like the main competition. But yeah. um, even if you block her, it will say she got like six or seven eggs, even if you can see her like not moving the whole time. Oh. So th there's not actually a reason to run interference. She's cheating. Yes. Hmm. Um, I was saying hi to everyone to try to get points, but then when Abigail asked me if she's too old to do the egg hunt, I accidentally said yes and <laughs> made her mad. Oh, I think this was counterproductive. <laughs> Something that you would do in, or that I would do in real life too, at, without thinking about how it was <laughs> offensive to somebody. All right. You ready? Okay, let's do it. Um, oh, I said not yet again. Awkward. Okay. Here we go. So I'm I'm doing it. I'm gonna try to win. Yes. And I okay. am <laughs> gonna follow you around like a sports commentator. Oh, uh, nice. Like the um the guys on the clouds in Mario Kart. Yeah. That just follow the action. What are those guys called? Is it Lakitu? Does, does I have no idea. Right? I don't know Mario lore. I always thought those were so cool. Cool little creatures. All right. How old are we? Should we be doing this? Old enough to get married, so probably not. <laughs> if I am my actual age, if my character is my real life age, it's about to get a little bit weird. All right. Sorry, Jazz and Vincent. Oh, we started. Berkeley's off, running past the dining area, up by the, the doctor's office. He finds an egg. And stuck on a table. He gets, st he gets stuck on a table. Oh, he's got another egg in the little hollow up by Pierre's. Ooh, and another one by the Owl House. I don't know who lives there. Uh, I think the old people live there. Maybe I'm wrong. One from the bed of the truck. Very cool. We don't know how the truck got there because there's no road and no <laughs> wheels. Or why it's there. Or Yeah, good point. 
Is it even a real truck? Could be a decoy. Who knows? I yeah. see one in the graveyard. Nice. And there's another one down here. And one in the sewer area. Okay, I'm pretty sure we're going to win. How many do you have? 11. That's pretty good. That might be the best I've ever done. It's, you're welcome. It's my commentary, I'm sure. It was. I'm sorry <laughs> I could banter back. I was razor focused. Are you laser great? focused? One of those. Both. Oh, I hate Lewis's joke here at the expense of all teenagers. Yeah. The winner is. Berkeley. Huzzah! <laughs> Eat it, kids. <laughs> Whoa. Right. The reward was 1,000 gold. Wow. I thought it was going to be a straw hat. Does the reward change over time, or is that a multiplayer thing? I don't know. Are you stuck at your house now? I am. Yay. I thought we cleaned up the path to my house. I thought so, too. Um, I'm just going to check my mail while I'm here. <laughs> so if you're new to the stream, um, weeds grew all around my house, so it became impossible for us to get there without tools. Oh, cool. We did clear path using bombs. Um, definitely but the house is growing. still inconvenient to get to, so I only check my mail once a season. Don't forget and to I still stop. always... Yeah. I, I still have a chair in my inventory <laughs> just for when I get stuck at my house and that helps me get around corners. It's very important. All right. I got a horseradish. So tomorrow. Cool. Time to craft some spring seeds. Yeah, I'll do it. It might first. just be on a specific day of the week that we can trade. Okay. Um, let me check the wiki before we start the next day. Yeah, those truffles are just really bringing in the cash. Thank you, yeah, Pig. Yeah, um, my wife is trying to reach perfection in Stardew Valley, and the last thing she has is to raise 10 million gold to buy the golden clock, and she has done it primarily, um, with truffles, so she's just been selling, like, 50 to 70 truffles a day and do you get make one bank. from every pig per day no it's pretty sporadic so i think it's like zero to three so maybe zero to two you've got like 120 pigs to to kind of guarantee that throughput um i don't know yeah if um someone in the chat wants to give the exact stats on how truffles work i'm not sure um, it looks like it's only on Saturdays that you can do that trade. Oh man, today was Saturday. Rough. Shoot. That's okay. We'll get it. We've got the stuff. We'll get it. We'll get it next stream. I'm sure. Yeah, we'll just like hold on to, hold on to them. Okay, I'm really, I really am curious about the reward for the uh, egg hunt. Did did it also give you a thousand gold? I don't think so, or, but okay. since we share so a wallet, I'd have to go look. I'd have to go look. All right. Got some cauliflower. Um, we should replant today. Um, but yeah, I am curious if anyone knows why the reward was a thousand gold instead of a straw hat. <laughs> um, I don't know if that's a year two thing or if that's a um, multiplayer thing. Okay, Megan in the chat says, you get a random number of truffles. I think most pigs will give you one per day, but sometimes they give you a ton. Um, and also she had like two barns full of pigs. The reward changes after year one. Wow, answering all our questions. It's just gold from year two onward. Okay, good to know. I have never done the, the egg hunt on year two because I've never been interested in a second straw hat. So this is this is great information to have. Berkeley, I have some bad news for you. Yes, sir. We now have 40 spring seeds because we had 30 in the chest. 
<laughs> We're so bad at this game, Jared. Uh, okay. Well, um, let's take that as great news. The universe just gave us 30 spring seeds. That's right. Slightly... Past us gifted us a surprise 30 spring seeds. <laughs> Um, can you, can you, um, check if you can sell stuff? Because right now it is not letting me sell stuff. Really? Yeah. There was a new patch bizarre. today, so I'm wondering if it's just a bug related to that or... Um, I can sell stuff. All right. Well... You could put stuff that you want to sell in a chest and I could sell it. All right. I will be making a new chest. Um, the red one isn't very full. Okay. It's a bunch of spring Ooh. onions. Megan in the chat says that the fishing contest also you get money instead of a hat after year two. Or after year one. Um, what she apparently doesn't know is that the hat you get is the captain's cap. Um, that's one piece of lore that I know that Megan in the chat does not. That that's pretty rare. Congratulations, Berkeley, on out making uh, making in the chat for the first and for probably knowing last time stuff. ever. <laughs> knowing stuff is still called Meganing, but still. <laughs> Do we have all the trees planted that we'll need for summer? I believe so. I well now I can't remember if we planted. Yes, yes, we do have all the trees that we need for summer. Okay. I think we did agreed to do the summer ones now and then save up money to get the fall ones. Okay. When it's um, more timely. Ooh, we just got a quest to bring Emily an apricot. Oh, you did that one a while ago, huh? Yeah. Never mind. That's because I haven't been checking my mail. Um, I'm going to go check the uh, traveling cart. Okay. okay, I've got a question for you and for everyone in the chat about Stardew Valley. Hit me. Um, if you could hang out with any character for a day, who would you pick and what would you do? Oh, man. Um, so, this is my first thought, and this is really dumb. But have you seen Willie's hat? Uh huh. When he walks around, it looks like a big floppy steak just perched on his head. And I really just want to touch it and see what it's like. Um. So, <laughs> I would. So, hit... <laughs> person Willie activity touches hat <laughs> <laughs> for twenty four hours. Yes. Would you ask him first? No, definitely not. Definitely not. It's not. That's an ask for forgiveness situation, I think. Okay. How about how about you? Um. Yeah, I think it would be really fun to like go if not real life rules. If we're playing in game rules, just go through the mines with Abigail. Um, I think Abigail's really cool, and I think she deserves to be in the mines more than she is. I would um, like to change my answer. Sorry. Continue. I, it would also be fun to hang out. I'm just like curious about a day in the life of a blacksmith or a cool guy like Gus or a carpenter like Robin. So as much as I hate Clint, I'm going to include him on the list because I think his job would be cool to shadow. <laughs> but just like watching, watching Clint or Robin or Gus do their job for a day, I think would be fun. All right. I agree. There's so much, especially carpentry. There's so much about those trades that are just really neat, and and I would love to see that. I'd love to see the it's the kind of the art of it in practice. Um, yeah. I'd like to change my answer to the wizard, man. That's for oh, real magic to be able to go see that? that. That would be crazy yeah. cool. Yeah. Yeah, that'd be a cool job to shadow. Oh, geez, I just accidentally bought something I didn't want to buy the traveling cart. <laughs> Sorry. That's okay. We're um, rich for but I did buy some work. things I did want. So I bought a pomegranate sapling because we'll need one for fall, and they're cheaper at the traveling cart today than they are at um, Pierre's. Nice. I bought a rare seed because we talked about that, and I bought a battery pack because those are hard to get without tools, I feel like. 
Maybe not. But um, I got one just in case. Um, Susie Moo in the chat says, I'd hang out with Sebastian and play Stardew Valley D&D &D with him and Sam. That was also something I considered. I didn't know if it would count if you're hanging out with both of them. But I, since you said it, I will say yes, it counts. Um, so if you haven't seen it, there's a Sebastian Hart cutscene where uh, you basically play D&D &D with him and Sam. Um, That's very cool. I'd love that. I don't want to... I'm nervous to say this on the stream because I don't want to commit to it, but I'm going to anyway because <laughs> everything is content. <laughs> I really want to make a mod that adds more D and D cutscenes, um, and maybe make some of more of the dialogue about D and D, where like when you see him, he says, "Oh, are you coming on Friday?" Stuff like that. That'd be I really. I think that would cool. be a lot of fun. What if you like worked um, in maybe like a um, like a government research lab on the edge of town and some sketchy stuff happening in the woods that ends up being kind of paranormal. Oh, is this a Stranger Things yeah. reference? <laughs> you have, I, have I forgot you haven't it. watched it. <laughs> Sorry. Yeah, I think that would be great, though. <laughs> okay. I love D&D, &D and I love to see that in such a wholesome context here, too. That's cool. Yeah. Cool fact about the um, Stardew Valley cutscenes. I, I was curious, so I was like looking how hard it would be to mod to make more cutscenes. And um, basically, every cutscene is just a file that defines what the prerequisite for it are, and like who moves where, and then does what, and how they emote, and the things they say. So like you you could make a cutscene without knowing anything about programming. Um, so. If you're interested in making mods with cutscenes, that's a that's a thing that you can do. Yeah, it looks like even you could do it with your just completely minimal knowledge of programming. <laughs> even me, a full-time software engineer, <laughs> could do it. Honestly, though, I don't know anything about game development, so that was a relief when I saw that. Yeah, that's that's one of those things where like you you get a degree in something. But it's so specialized that it's, people just assume that you would know how to do anything related to it. But the reality is that that's not how it works. <laughs> yes. Thank you for acknowledging that. Okay, did we? I thought we had more cauliflower seeds, and now I am not seeing them. Uh, we grew some, didn't we? Already. We did. I harvested two today, okay. so I am looking to replant in those spots. Okay. Um. Oh, did you put these spring onions in the cart or in the chest to sell? I did, yes. Okay. <laughs> Remember how we had that whole conversation about putting stuff in the chest for me to sell? Indeed. I opened the chest and I was like, Jared, why did you put these in the chest? You should just sell them. <laughs> I can't uh, sell. So I'm both dumb and mean. Bad combo. Well, you stopped yourself. You realized that That's you get true. credit for that. Okay, I'm going to plant this fruit tree um, down by our other fruit trees. Oh, too close to another tree. Fail. Oh, fail. Got it. Okay. Oh, shoot. I was too late. I didn't make it to pears in time. Um, I guess I'll just plant. I've got a couple rice shoots. I'll plant where the cauliflower was. Berkeley, I have a small magnet ring. Do you already have one? Because I do. Um, I have a regular sized magnet ring. Oh, wow. <laughs> I didn't realize we were playing with the pros over here. Okay, well, into the trash it goes. Oh, um, for future reference, you can sell those to the Adventurers Guild for that's, a little bit. That's true, but then I'd have to go into the Adventurers Guild. Oh, I love that place, man. Just old guys chilling, remembering the good old days. It always, they remind me of the uncles in Secondhand Lions. Have okay. Seen that one? Firstly, that's a great movie and I really like it. Uh, reminds me a little bit of Baron von Munchausen, if you've ever seen that film. Um, I've never heard of it. Okay. Well, <laughs> it's a, uh, I don't know how to describe it. It's a similar vibe, but not identical, but very similar. Um, I would recommend cool. it at least what I remember of it from being eight <laughs> when I watched it. 
But secondly, the dude in the wheelchair, and I, I, I don't watch the opening cutscene to this game very much, as in usually I just ignore it because I find it unsettling slash funny. Um, wait, but the guy wait, in the are wheelchair. Are you talking about Grandpa in his bed? Yeah, <laughs> I am talking about that Grandpa in his bed. Are you calling Grandpa that guy in the wheelchair? Uh, I'm. Or are you I, talking about? <laughs> I'm saying that it might be. I'm saying it might be. They look similar to me. And okay. uh, I think only time will show how deep this conspiracy goes. But maybe Grandpa uh -huh. lives and he's letting you live on the farm so that his property value will go up and then he's going to sell it out from under you the moment you're successful. <laughs> Okay, I just went to level 80 of the mines to do Megan's advice of going to level 81. And apparently I've never been there because there was a chest with Firewalker boots for me. Oh, wow. That might I already have... have better boots, <laughs> so I'm going to go and sell these ones at the Adventurers Guild. Yeah. A place where I enjoy going. <laughs> very cool, Berkeley. Very cool. <laughs> I'm glad you enjoy it. Oh, it's locked. It closes at 10. I always think it closes at midnight. Oh, you know why it closes at 10? Because that's when old people go to bed. And also Fair. me, sometimes. I do I do that too. So, am I old? We're getting old, Jared. That's, that's undeniable. I'm starting to relate less and less to popular music. I don't understand new fashion trends all the time <laughs> what Wait, have I become? Here's, here's the thing here's the thing that messes me up is how kids like children will will pick up on tiktok trends these days i'm about to sound real old here so sorry everyone <laughs> but today i was at a pumpkin patch brought my family to a pumpkin patch um and there were tons of like middle school and elementary aged kids there i don't know why and so many of them were singing the it's corn song and i was like that's from tiktok how did you you can't be on there you're too little how do you know the song why are we amused by the same things granted i was amused by it like a month ago and they're amused by it now so points to me but still it, it was uncomfortable no doubt no doubt i um I can't actually imagine what it would be like to grow up with access to the internet like that because I didn't have a cell phone until I was a senior in high school and it was not internet capable. So I guess I I, I hope that it's good. I hope it's a good time for them. Yeah. I think largely it will probably not be but there will probably be good things about it, too. Like the corn Hopefully. song. Like the corn song. Okay, Berkeley, I gotta, I gotta roast. What is this? The, this is the guy you get the pepper for. Is it George? Uh, um, yeah, George. Okay, so his wife, Evelyn, has asked me to surprise her husband with a gift. He's a big fan of leeks. If somebody asked me, you know, what I wanted for my birthday, I don't think there's any lifetime where I would list a vegetable. Like, hey, I was thinking maybe I could get you a gift. What do you want? A leak. Oh, just a single leak. One loose <laughs> leak, please. Do you want me to cook it into something? No. Nope. <laughs> just however you found it on the ground, bring it to me that way. I don't like to eat them. I just like them. I just want to hold I it. I just think they're neat. <laughs> <laughs> it's got the same vibes as the characters in Sturdy that will say, if you ever want to make my mom mad, give her rock. She hates it. <laughs> Arr, I hate like if someone gave rock. me a rock, I would not be angry. I would not be pleased. I would be very neutral, aggressively neutral about that. Yeah, it's just, that's one of the things where you go, huh, a rock, all right. And then just throw it slightly in the other direction. Yeah. That's, that's all you got to do. You don't need to lose friendship points with that person. Uh, I can't believe Berkeley gave me a rock. 
I hate you, Uncle. In... You stink. And I hate you for all time. Unless there's some framing, like, conversation around it that we don't get, where maybe if you give someone a gift, you're actually running up to them and saying, Hey, I got you a special gift. This reminded me of you. In that case, yeah, that's fair. Get mad about The Rock. I put a lot of time and effort into this, and I was thinking the thing that most, like, typifies you is piece of gravel. <laughs> Yeah, that's Do you want to know exactly how much I value our relationship? <laughs> Let me show you through a gift. <laughs> this is a metaphor for how I think of you as a person and your value. I'm going to buy a bunch of potato seeds so next time we harvest something we can just plant right away. Okay. That's a good plan. Unless it happens to be in summer. Then we'll have to find something else. Yeah, do you think it would be better or worse if um if when you planted a seed out of season, it just like stayed there until the right season? Oh man, could you still destroy it with the um pick in this hypothetical? Uh, um well if I say yes, then I feel like that's an easy answer that it's better. So let's say no. <laughs> you have to like you have to not use that spot of ground until the season starts. Very fair. Um I would say it's fine. I would prefer for it to stay. Because mm. I'm dumb and I would plant it at the wrong time. And I have done that multiple times. Um, not in this game, thankfully, but in my own private save. And mm. unlike in this game, I have a whole lot of spare land that I can absolutely clear without a whole lot of effort and use to grow stuff while I wait for that seed to be ready. So that's my take. What, are you using tools or something in that world? I uh, I don't feel like this is a safe space <laughs> to talk about that. <laughs> okay. A while ago when I... Um, oh, I'm going to... You guys are going to hate me for this. I'm going to explain my own joke right now because I don't know if anyone caught on to it. Um, a while ago I, I posted on Instagram a screenshot of my personal save um, and I was of course using tools in that world and so i i censored out the tools in my inventory with a little <laughs> black sensor bar <laughs> and later megan was like why did you censor your inventory because <laughs> of the tools hey man you're you're you are living what you what you speak you're putting your actions where your mouth is and i respect that Here's the important takeaway. I'm a father now, and so the audience for my jokes is me. Um, <laughs> and so you all have to live with the consequences of interacting with me. I, I like the consequences. I'm here for it. Oh, thanks. So um, is this a telescope poking out of the wizard's tower, or is it like a really big pipe that he's just smoking? I was going to say his exhaust pipe for all his machinations in there. Uh, I'm not sure. That's true. He doesn't really come off as like the stonery type of wizard. Yeah. Although he does give you that potion that seems pretty trippy when he teaches you to speak forest. That speak. is a fact. What do you, ayahuasca or whatever that is called? Wait, what? Oh, um, so in, and I'm, if you know more about this than me, please correct me because I'm probably about to butcher this horribly. But there are uh, several indigenous um, groups in Central and South America that use plants to brew up like a DMT drink. DMT is a powerful hallucinogen and they brew this drink called ayahuasca that, that um, allows that DMT to be active uh, and give you hallucinations and it's I think it's part of a spiritual ritual for certain cultures but I don't know a lot more about it but people who uh, a lot of people seek it out because apparently it's very therapeutic in helping deal with trauma and figure things out in your life which I think is really cool um, and would love that to be legal in the states I will get off my soapbox yeah. now. 
Well, let me step onto it before we put it away. Um, I, I've definitely heard of like um, different cultures that use drugs that the United States has outlawed in in like their religious ceremonies, which is just really crappy of the United States, I think, to say that someone's form of worship is illegal because it happens to be a substance. Mm-hmm. Um, I watched part of a TED talk this week that talked about how in most historical cultures that have used hallucinogenic drugs, which is a lot of them, um, that drugs were always a way of either healing or socializing and that it's pretty unique in the U.S. that um, drugs have been stigmatized in a way that like prevents socialization and makes it more of an isolating experience. Um, so that was an interesting difference that I hadn't thought about. I should note that tech talk or that TED talk had a, a warning on it that said it didn't meet their scientific standards. Hmm. Um, so take that with a grain of salt, but that was one guy's opinion. Yeah, I, I, um, I am an amateur history student. And one of the things that I think is really interesting is that the destructive, side of drugs really has been propagated by um like industrialized western powers um if you look at the the british history with opium and what they did to the opium trade um and then kind of the popularization of cocaine here in the states it's it's interesting to me how driven by uh western cultures specifically um like colonial empires i guess um that that kind of the destructive side of of drugs were were driven by that i don't know if that was a complete sentence (laughs) (laughs) yeah yeah it's really sad and unfortunate berkeley do we keep salmon berries or are we going to sell them um, I think we can sell them. Sometimes I'll use them for food, but I, th- I think we can just afford salad or pizza or whatever we want True. as a food source. Plus, we barely ever need to eat because we don't use tools, so we don't use much energy. Um, that was a long way of saying, let's sell them. All right. Actually, do we have a quest about bringing maple syrup to the um, secret woods? Um, how do I check my quests? F on the keyboard. I don't know if you're using your keyboard or your uh, controller today. My controller broke. It actually made my keyboard oh. stop working. So I don't plug it. What? And, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You ever break so hard you make other things stop working? It happened to me. Okay. Parsnip. Um, cauliflower. <laughs> the mayor's shorts. Ale, hot pepper, melon, amaranth, squid, uh, amethyst for Clint. Yeah. Okay. Maple syrup to the, to the secret woods. Yeah. We do have that. Okay. Once we complete that, salmon berries will sell for, th- I think, three times more than their current price. Wow. Um, so if we if we ever get a lot of them, we should probably save them until we've completed that. But I don't think that's worth doing for just if you just have one or two. I'm glad you feel that way because I already sold them and I don't think I can get them back. <laughs> cool. All right. Well, it's time to donate stuff. I think we hey. might only have one thing this time, though. Hey, yeah. Do you want to go do that? I will probably not join you because I need... I've got a bunch of stuff to sell. Yeah, no problem. I can do it. <laughs> Look at you carrying like an egg <laughs> around proudly. <laughs> hey, have you seen my egg? Look at it. <laughs> I think I also... Um, oh, I've been giving lots of people random fruit, and so I thought I would have enough hearts with Marnie to complete the mayor's shorts quest, but I have zero hearts with Marnie. That's okay. I'll keep trying. We'll get there. All right. Enchanter's hey, bundle. Hey, what are we donating? Oak resin. Success. Oak resin. 
to the Enchanter's Bundle. Nice. Look at this artwork of the wizard. He probably made that himself. There's no way somebody made that for him. <laughs> I actually can't see it on my little screen um, where I'm watching. Oh, the yeah. Stream. Oh, wait. Just uh, Can you describe it for us? So it's the wizard with his hands over some sort of like a uh, scrying orb and then in the background is like a cosmic scene of stars and galaxies and the moon and he's outlined with this bright white light uh and it looks like he might be wearing sunglasses and a gold chain so he's he's got a lot of swag going on right now uh which leads me wizard to believe... i don't believe you've ever done that in your life <laughs> yeah i'm pretty pretty sure that he wrote a fan fiction about himself and put it on the bulletin board So what's it like when you do magic? Um, you know, there's a lot of meteors and comets and stuff. I get to commune with cosmic powers, and I have this really cool gold chain that I wear, too. Oh, no, I left it at my mom's house. I, It's real, though. <laughs> um, you said uh, communicating with cosmic powers, which just reminded me of how... Um, graduate school was pitched to me. I had a <laughs> professor in my department give a whole presentation where his shtick was quoting the genie from Aladdin and said that going to graduate school gave you unlimited cosmic power, itty bitty living space. Um, <laughs> turns out only half of that was true. Let me guess. It was the living space. <laughs> it was the living space. Yeah. Brutal. Well, hey, you made it out. You made it out. Yeah. If I had stuck with my original plan, I would still have two years left. That's, that's crazy. That's true. Glad I'm, glad I'm not doing that plan. <laughs> yeah. All right. Well, thank you, everyone. Um, that is going to be the end of our stream for today. If you're not following us yet on Instagram, Twitch, and or YouTube, I invite you to consider doing so. The links are in our bio. We've got a link tree. Um, if you're watching this on Twitch, it's in our About section. If you're on YouTube, it is in the description of the video. Um, on our Instagram, we post updates about when we're going to stream. Uh, we used to post recaps of what happened during each stream, and then I got busy. Maybe we'll start doing that again. Um, if you want to reach us, Instagram is a great way to do that. Um, so yeah, follow our socials. Good night, everybody. Hey. See you next week. Bye. Bye.